What's up, XRP Army? We have some exciting updates surrounding the SEC developments, some FUD on XRP, some hilarious stuff from Forbes. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Let's jump into it. Brad Garlinghouse says, feels appropriate that we file our response on the same day that two SEC lawyers resign for their misconduct in the debt box case. As we know, two of them stepped down. The US will be picking up the pieces of the agency's disastrous policies long after Gensler is gone. Disastrous. I mean, that's to put it politely. This is in response to Stewart, the chief legal officer over at Ripple, saying our opposition to the SEC's request for $2 billion in penalties for legacy institutional sales is now public. In a case that had no allegations or findings of recklessness or fraud, and in which Ripple won on significant issues, the SEC's ask is just more evidence of its ongoing intimidation against all of crypto in the US. All. This is not just XRP. This is why we're in this together. Guys, this is not ETHgate. Ripple's launching the stablecoin on XRP Ledger and ETH. ETH won't be a security. ADA won't be a security. There's going to be multiple ETFs, multiple baskets. Don't get bamboozled by the narrative going on. Zoom out, step away, and look at this narrative and look at the trajectory. We remain confident that the judge will approach this final remedies phase fairly. Coming over to CTO at Ripple, David Schwartz. Would a company that manufactures saws have to comply with regulations that only uh, apply only to wood cutting companies? No sane person would think so if they had no control over the saws once they left their factory. In response to Mallard Beekman saying, thanks for the legal analysis. The federal government specifically dis disagrees as of yesterday. No control is required to be a money transmitter. Now, of course, we know Ripple has money transmitter license or licensees, and in, in, I'm sure they have multiple licenses going on. There's, there's one that came into mind, particularly the New York one uh, recently. So this is good news for Ripple. I think that we're going to come out of this with flying colors, guys. VET. VET is super active in the XRP community, hosts the best spaces. Uh, he's behind uh, the team in XRP Cafe, a very bubbly, open-minded, civil guy. I really like VET. And he says the blockchain experts of Forbes released a good-for-nothing blockchain list, putting the XRP ledger on it with, trust me, bro, sir, sources, mid-curve comments, and as per usual, random picking. Oh, and on the right picture are the Forbes cover heroes selected by the same experts. Thank you so much, Vet. Now, they've made a list of shitty projects, the good-for-nothing blockchains. What did I say about FUD post having? We're witnessing this daily from all angles possible, including articles like this. We'll come back to this with the funny post, including articles like this XRP getting absolutely crushed by Bitcoin despite Ripple's win. Yes, it's not doing well, but we need to get pulled out of the perceived lawsuit. We need to have a final clear pulled out of it completely. We need to have the green light so that the public sentiment changes. So you were going to see a lot of negative articles like this. Yes, is it performing poorly compared to Bitcoin? Sure, there's many projects that are. Yes, that's true. But let's be mindful that what we're looking for, XRP has been a late bloomer. This is normal, guys. Coming back to VET, uh, coming back to this post, look at this hilarious. So they have the balls to say XRP is just a nothing burger, and we'll get into the details, while at the same time putting this piece of shit on their cover. So don't forget about that, guys. Don't forget about that. So if a parent, oh, wow. Look, it's the, the amazing Sam Bankman Fried. So let's not forget. Let's not forget. Let's look at this image in more detail. A little zoom in, shall we? Aha. The 20 blockchains below command a total market value of more than 100 billion, despite the fact that they are unproven and have little utility other than for speculative crypto trading. Most have treasuries brimming with millions, but they answer to neither shareholders nor regulators. And we can see they put XRP in that list. They're fudding XRP, they're fudding ADA, BCH, Litecoin, Internet Computer, Ethereum Classic, Stellar, Stacks, Caspa, Theta, Phantom, Monero. Come on now. You, they're these guys, bro. Arweave, Algorand, Flow, Multiverse, Bitcoin SV. Now, some of these I'm not a big fan of, but 
to throw like Litecoin under the bus, ADA, XRP under the bus, heck, internet computer, come on now. So let's look at the reasons, right? They write, they see the monthly active developers. This is basically them just saying all this is crap. XRP though, we'll focus on for the sake of this video. Payments platform has yet to challenge Swift, now threatened by stable coins. They're launching a stable coin. They're welcoming stable coin growth. They're calling for a 20X increase. Whoever wrote this at Forbes, man, you're, you're smoking something. And it definitely ain't, it definitely not this color. I can tell you that, definitely not that color. It's probably something along with this color with a few other colors mixed in and 10 more derivatives. These guys, guys, be mindful of the FUD, be aware of it, but don't let it sway your emotions. I know we have good conviction and um, this is just hilarious, hilarious. Good for nothing blockchains. All right, Forbes is good for nothing. That is just crazy, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I can't believe that. That's just insane. So, guys, that's it for the XRP stuff. Just a quick recap of what's going on on the on the ground floor. This in particular, very interesting. I will link everything again in the description for you guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about these clowns, the experts, the blockchain experts who are putting this guy at the front cover and saying that they're threatened by stable coins? Is XRP threatened by stable coins? No, we're joining stable coins. So they can't even get that right. They can't even get this right. Be mindful of the FUD guys. XRP has a lot of pros going for it. The stable coin coming out to XRP Ledger and Ethereum cements that Ethereum also won't be a security. Why would Ripple launch in a security? Come on, guys. Be pragmatic. Be probable. Don't work with possibilities and villain arcs. So guys, that's my goal. I'm trying to glue together these altcoins. There's too much like back and forth fighting between each other. Um, it's not like that. Behind the scenes, Brad, Charles, Vitalik, all these guys working together, working together. You may not see that, but it is. So I'm optimistic, guys. Don't get uh, misguided by stupid FUD like this. I'm optimistic on XRP and the price point. It will be a late bloomer, but I think that the stable coin will bring in massive capital like we've never expected it before. And I'm calling it right now. When that moment comes, I'm going to come back to this moment on April 28th and we will relish that moment together. What do you guys think about XRP? Is it a nothing burger or are you guys excited for the enterprise grade stable coin? Are you guys excited for the future of XRP? Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.